Hey, what's going on guys? Kale Mike with TheEasiestBusiness.com. Today I want to talk to you about something that's pretty controversial in the painting world. This is going to focus more on residential paint. I know I've done a lot of commercial videos lately, uh, but this is going to focus on more of the residential paint world, and that's cabinets and what to put on cabinets. I'm not exaggerating when I say I probably see this argument at least once to twice a day. I can't tell you how many times I go to some, some Facebook groups that I'm a part of to do with just painters and so many people are arguing there's 50 100 comments on a thread about what to use on cabinets and i'm, and I'm just gonna kind of you know spitball kind of ad lib here and, and tell you uh what i use on cabinets and my opinion feel free to have your own opinion i'm sure i'll get downvoted a bunch for this but um my most controversial statement in this video is going to be emerald urethane by sharon williams does not go on cabinets it is not a cabinet coating it is a trim paint Yes, I understand that you can have success using a trim paint on cabinets, but it's not something I prefer to do, and technically, it's not uh, really even right to do. So behind me, you'll see I have written uh, this acronym. It's KCMA. What does KCMA stand for? It stands for Kitchen Cabinet Manufacturers Association, and these are the standards that you should go by uh, when painting cabinets or when refinishing cabinets. These are like the North American standards, maybe even worldwide, I'm not 100% sure, but these are uh, basically the North American standards. Uh, KCMA is an organization, uh, they, they, you know, they set out how to build cabinets, the specs, um, and, and cabinet coatings and refinishing. And so the only cabinet coating that you can pick up from Sherwin-Williams um, is going to be called Chem Aqua. Chem Aqua. I'm not sure if they have a C or not in that, but um, I think they do. Chem Aqua from Sherman Williams is the only product that you can pick up from your local Sherman Williams store that's going to be KCMA. It's going to meet these or exceed these standards. So I typically don't like to use Chem Aqua because it's super thin. The products that I like to use, um, I like to use uh, like like a vinyl sealer, like a vinyl sealer slash primer. This is going to be this is gonna be a product by Centurion Wood Coatings. It's actually gonna be uh, a lacquer, is what this is. So this is gonna be uh, a lacquer finish. And I think I use the, the uh, CS1106, I believe it is. Um, and that's gonna be a lacquer primer. It's a high build lacquer. Um, and once you use lacquer, I don't think you'll ever go back to emerald urethane again. You can spray this and legitimately like five minutes later, you can touch it. In about 20 or 30 minutes, you can actually sand this and start spraying your top coat on it. So I like to sand things down, spray with a high build lacquer. This also has tannin blocking in it because if you deal with a lot of natural woods, if you deal with like uh, some, some, some red cedar woods and stuff and you spray it with like a water-based primer that doesn't have tannin blockers in it, you're gonna see that bleed through, that, that almost like liquid red bleed through uh, on your on your top coat, it'll bleed through three or four coats. Um, trust me. And so you'll want to use a high build uh, primer, something that's easily sandable, something that lays down flat, something that dries quick. I would use the 1106 lacquer primer from Centurion Wood Coatings. Of course, other primers, um, water based, are going to be like Renner, Molesi, things like that. Um, and then you can either top coat with lacquer as well. You can use something like. Um, Centurion Wood Coatings also has top coat uh, with lacquer, or you can use something like Benjamin Moore has something called, uh, or Ultra Lac, I believe it's called. Um, they have that. You could probably source from your local uh, distributor, not Lowe's, not Home Depot, not Sherwin Williams, but you're going to have uh, some other little small stores around me. We have what's called a Swift Supply. I don't know if that's national or not, but we have three or four of them near me, and they actually carry. Uh, Ultra Lac by Linmar. It's actually a Benjamin Moore uh, line of product. But if you want to go top coat um, water base, you want to go like a Poly 2K. So a lot of these Poly 2Ks are very popular. They're an Italian European coating. Um, these are actually water based and you'll have to mix in the catalyst. And so uh, they're actually 1K slash 2K a lot of the times. So 1K slash 2K. That slash is pretty awful. Um, but 1K means basically you take the polyurethane, you don't add a catalyst in, and you just, you don't mix it 
I mean, you may stir it up, use it, spray it, water-based coating dries, gets pretty hard, still exceeds KCMA standards, um, and it's still better than uh, anything you can pick up from Sherman Williams besides Chem Aqua. So a 1K poly is still gonna be uh, eons better than uh, anything you can pick up from Sherman Williams, meaning like Emerald or Pro Classic. Um, 2K means you add a catalyst to it. So they give you a little catalyst. Uh, usually it's a one-to-one -one ratio. Sometimes it's different depending on who you're using. Centurion, they have a, they have a polyurethane 2K um, that you can use that works very well. If you watch the Idaho Painter, he pushes them. He sells this product as well. Um, Malesi, or Malesi, depending on how you um, pronounce it, they have a great uh, polyurethane 1K, 2K. Um, these take a little bit longer to dry than the lacquers. These take about probably an hour to touch, and I probably wouldn't flip it over till the next day. But you'll know if you ever use like an emerald urethane, you paint the cabinets, and then you go to flip them. You could wait 24 hours, flip them, paint them, and then pull them, and that paint's gonna pull off. That, that surface is gonna be really tacky and really sticky, and that's the reason I don't like using an emerald urethane on cabinets because you have to be careful for 30 days with these cabinets before they cure and harden. You need to talk to your local Sherwin-Williams rep. You need to look at your data sheets. It takes about three to four weeks for a Sherwin-Williams product or Sherwin-Williams paint uh, to fully cure for you to be able to scratch test it. So I don't like leaving my cabinets in a client's house. Uh, I put them all back together and then they have dogs and kids. They're going to be calling you back in a week or two. Yes, you can do it without having issues like that, but I think it's best to just totally avoid it uh, by all means. So a good poly 1K, 2K that I've used, Malesi is great. Centurion Wood Coatings makes uh, polyurethane 2K and these are great. These are these are, like I said, not American coatings. These come from Europe. They're huge in Europe and they're just now moving over uh, to the US. They're becoming way more popular. You can spray it without the stink, without the stench of the lacquers. But at the end of the day, it's still water-based. Um, your 2K hardener, you're gonna have a pot life. So you have to be careful um, with your 2Ks. You're gonna have, you have to worry about pot life. So I know with Malesi, I don't like to use Malesi because of the short pot life. If you use Malesi, you take their pink catalyst, you mix it straight into your gallon, you paddle mix it with a, uh, with a, with a drill, you know, a paddle on the end of a drill, but then you only have like an hour to use it before it hardens up. So if you don't have that stuff out of your, out of your gun or out of your, out of your sprayer, you'll be, you'll be screwed. So a lot of people like to mix it a one-to-one -one ratio in a, in a pot or, you know, a gravity fed gun or something like that. Uh, but I'm just not set up like that. I just use conventional airless sprayer. Centurion, I believe is like a three or four. It could be a two, it's a two to four, something like that. It's somewhere between two and four hour pot life, uh, which gives you a lot more time to work with the product. So, I happen to lean towards uh, Centurion for my top coat, and I lean towards uh, a vinyl lacquer for my undercoat. It's a CS1106 vinyl lacquer undercoater, and top coat it with polyurethane 2K. What you don't want to do is go over uh, a water-based coating with a lacquer, because that lacquer is going to eat away at that uh, top coat, and your, and your finish is going to eventually crack. Um, and you're gonna have really, really bad results and you're gonna get called back and you're gonna get really bad reviews. So um, only use a lacquer if you're doing it over other lacquer that's already on there or you're doing it uh, over varnish or something like that where you can sand the finish down, knock that shine off, and then you're gonna wanna go over it with a lacquer primer, top coat it with poly 2K, you're good to go. I like to spray everything. These coatings, uh, they do not roll or brush well. You cannot roll or brush a lacquer and poly 2K, sometimes you can touch it up. Um, not really though. You really need to spray everything here. So this is for people who spray kitchens. I'm talking about the boxes and the doors. I like to do the doors at home in my garage over here. You know, I have a spray booth set up um, and then I mask off the kitchen. It takes about a day for me by myself to mask off the kitchen and I can put three coats in a day and mask the whole kitchen off. Come in the next day, tear everything down. Um, and then you have your kitchen back until I get the doors back in. Um, but I clean it up the second day and I'm done and out of there on day two by myself in a typical kitchen. So this has just kind of been me ad-libbing this and how I do cabinets and, and what I think you should put on cabinets. Anything that I ever pay for that goes in my house is gonna be KCMA certified. It's got the hardness, the durability, um, it cures quicker. 
you can scratch test it basically the same day after it hardens. So I wouldn't trust Emerald Urethane Pro Classic, no oil-based crap. To me, it's all garbage. And I know I'm gonna offend a lot of people saying that, but this is just the truth. You need to go look up kcma.org, I believe is the website, kcma.org, and look at the standards by which they've put forth for uh, the Kitchen Cabinet Manufacturers Association. Leave me a comment, let me know. What do you think? What do you like to put on cabinets? Do you agree with this process? Do you have something different you do? Um, if not, I completely understand. Don't be mad at me. This is just what I prefer and what I consider the right way. So uh, if, you've, if you've had success before, you know, doing whatever, then keep doing it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. So subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you guys think. Send this to all your friends. Um, if you believe that your friends don't do cabinets the right way, send this to them. Uh, maybe they'll change their mind, but probably not. So anyways, enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Thanks.